Hello YouTube and hello Spin Community. <clears throat> well, as ever, this is going to be another unscripted, unedited and unpolished attempt at not so much a review, but an overview of some of the superb, has to be said, products that have been supplied to me by Unquiet Hands and the wonderful Tom Lannett. Needs absolutely no introduction, does he? Um... I have followed Tom ever since I purchased these little buttons from him. They are a resin button, 19 millimeters, and um, well, to be fair, if you drop them, they're not gonna last very long on a hard surface. They're, they're gonna break, but they're inexpensive. And I bought quite a few of these off Tom just to try them. And I found that on something like this, little spinner when I take off my flamed and lacquered copper buttons and pop these on these unquiet hands buttons not only not add any weight but give a nice colour variation and also nice little so hard a camera there nice little bit of grip so every now and again when I got a little spinner, even something like a, a, a Tungsten's entry, uh, Zentry Nano, I'll just pop them on and see what they like. And they work. Just don't drop them from a high height. They're really well made. The other great thing about these, and I don't even know if he sells these anymore, but what is cool is that you have a machined and dedicated post there and they, they come in lots of different colours. Um, there is like a greeny swirl one uh, with white in it. And this is now refusing. Thank you very much indeed. Deft on camera. Um, there's some multicolour ones. Here's like a blue swirl colour. So you can kind of mix and match. And that was my first experience at Tom. Now, these buttons were inexpensive. They didn't cost very much. But Tom was very appreciative. Um, we talked on, on Reddit. It's very appreciative of the support um, because, like with his spinners, these little details matter. So I got, you know, my first little handwritten note from him, which meant a great deal, superbly packaged and delivered really quickly. So <clears throat> when Tom released, I'll put that there, the atrium, it was a no-brainer for me. Coming directly from something, I guess, oh, God, you know, your memory goes around about the same time-ish, maybe just there or thereabouts, doesn't really matter. The Ben Poe's Tri-Cocoon. Um, this little chap coming out in 50 millimetres was, <laughs> just had to be done. So my version is, as you would imagine, the titanium version. And uh, let me just check this, because... Tom was great with me on this. I have a bit of a penchant for a certain number. And if you're on Reddit, you'll know what that is. And if I can get these titanium home flamed cupolas off. Oh, why does this never happen to Hobby Timmy? Come on, come on. There you go. Number 13. Now you can see that I put some little, um, of those trip filler wires from Spinetic in there because I was being cheap. And I uh, didn't want to buy trits. I should buy trits. I've, I've got trits in my mini asylum. I've got trits in, in virtually everything that can take a trit, apart from this. And the little red one has fallen out. Uh, they're great from Spinetic, these. you just got to file them down, and that can be a little bit of a pain. Um, and as you can see, we've got the retention method there, which is what Tom sort of kind of started out with. You don't need to tell me. Sorry, you don't need to tell me. I don't need to tell you. Um how great a spinner this is groundbreaking came from nowhere kind of um the cost was just amazing at the time and what tom had opened up was um a door a door to huge huge success um i'm not sure if the next thing i bought from tom was this but i th think it might have been and this, of course, is the, the knuckle roller that he produced. And uh, boy, is this cool, because you can spin the ends. Now, I have the Axiom one, but 
this is much nicer. And if you go over to Reddit, you'll see that one of the photos I'm really pleased about that I took was of this. Um, now, I am not very competent at all. And being as the fact I'm over a glass coffee table, um, then I am not going to attempt uh, to uh, manoeuvre this around. But it's one of the most satisfying spinners and knuckle rollers that I have owned. It feels great in the hand. It's superbly machined. And you've got this little twisty bit here. And you could do a bit of mixing matching. And you get a little bit of, you know, you get a bit of sound from that. I like that. I'm delighted with that. Didn't really feel the need to buy another knuckle roller after I got that, other than the ones from uh, around Squared, which are equally as brilliant, but slightly different thing. Indeed, with photographs, um, you can see here in front of you the, the original um, Unquiet Hands uh, that I... Um, Hello! Hello there! Hello! How is everybody today? That's pretty poor, isn't it? Um, so, <laughs> there we go. But those are in the photographs, so if you've seen any of the, the... It's this, just hiding that in the photo is such a pain. It looks like, you know, the like inside's ripped out. Um, not nice enough for a horror movie. Okay, so that was that. Um, and then, of course, Tom started with more buttons, and one of my favourite buttons of all time is this little chap. We've seen it before. It appears to be there's some debris or matter on the inside of that button there. The other cool thing that he did, and uh, I've been doing it on the quiet as well, is adding glow resin to things that have got recesses or indentations in them. And I think he did a very similar thing with these um, crop circle buttons. And wow, do they turn out cool. Now, I'm not sure how he did it, I know the method that I use is basically make up the glow resin with the, the adhesive and the powder, then wang it in, scrape it around a little bit until it's in there, and then spend the next 25 minutes trying to get the residue off. If you're careful, it works, but um, it's messy, and you tend to find that about a week later you'll 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 be lying in bed and you'll you know you've got to reach for a phone or something. My hands are glowing blue. My God, I have some type of. But it's 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 a devil. To, to, to shift, which is a good thing once you've got it in there because you don't want it going anywhere. These are really cool buttons, and as you know, I've got them on my um, my tri stubby alien thingy doodah. So there we go. Um, and then ah, you get these watershed moments, don't you? You get these kind of like things that are really, really special and mean something to you. Um, and uh, I'm going to be honest. You guys, you don't sell me stuff to review. I don't, you know, I got the calipers. You know, I can do an impression of Nick Shabazz. I can, I can do all of that stuff, you know, but you you don't really. And I know why. It's because it's it's written and it's photographic and it's not immediate bang. And I understand all that. That's, that's great. No issues at all. But Tom was about the second or third, maybe, maker. Certainly the biggest, most prominent um, and respected maker to send me a spinner for review. And not only did he send it in, a, in my preferred material of titanium, and I I, I should flame this really, uh, but I, I haven't had much time. By the way, can I just say thank you to everybody that's commented about my father that's in hospital. Um, he's still in there, he's gonna be getting out soon. The reason I'm not with him now is due to me sustaining an incredibly annoying back injury this morning. Uh, which meant that I'm struggling to move around, but we're okay. It's just given me the opportunity to do these 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 little vids. Um, it, it is dedicated, so it's an all one button. It's lovely. Maybe just a teensy weensy teensy weensy small for the big fingered, but then it's a smaller spinner. It's smaller than the the atrium. Uh, you'll be able to see this. I mean, I could get the scales out and get the calipers out, but do I need to? You all know the stats are all there, so it's not important. Oh, come on. I'm doing it one-handed. Let's do it two-handed, okay? Okay. Okay, so, yeah, it's smaller, but it doesn't suffer because of it. It's not like, as I said at the time in the review, it isn't like, okay, it's a smaller version of the 8. It isn't. It is and stands alone as it is. Again, it's a retention fit. Um... Everything's done superbly, and I don't know if I mentioned it there. He sent me, I'm sure it was number 13. He said he was going, I'm sure it was 13. It's 13 somewhere, it's on the card, it's 13. I know it, thank you, Tom, I know it's 13 somewhere. Now, out of the two, which do I prefer? 
which would I spin on a daily basis? Well, you know that I like smaller spinners. This is easier to use, catch. Yeah, flick, that easy, no problem. Little bit of adjustment may be needed on this one, but I prefer that because I just like it. And there's a kind of density to this that I, that I like. Okay, um, so that leaves us with, with something that, <sighs> the attic. Now the attic, if you're new to Unquiet Hands, it might be the first one that you bought. I think he's got some in bronze coming out, which just look amazing. I've seen those on the website. And of course, you're going to get your wonderful little little card. Yeah. And it tells you that, whoa, hey, strapping in. Number 13 again. Thanks, Tom. This is the titanium, and this is the PSW finish, which is like uh, nothing I've ever experienced before. And I'm desperate to try it. Really, really wanted to try it on a, on a on a mini atrium as well, but I got it in this, and it is as light, it is smooth, it is glossy, and okay, it, it looks like it's responding to fingerprints, but it isn't really. Lovely little card. I do like those, even though we all know that they're slightly unnecessary. I do find it a little bit odd, though, that you know, people start going on about this box. It's great. I, I love the packaging. It keeps it all protected, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But it's a box with unquiet hands on it. You know, look at the way that the ridges are sort of... Yeah, mine's got chocolate on it's Tom's chocolate. Look at the ridges, you know, and the construction of it, the way that it opens. And Wouldn't this be useful for storing other things in? Yeah, clearly, it's a box, you know. Um, OK, it's a nice touch. It's fantastic. I love it. Tom, thank you for the effort. But I'm not going to be, you know, going on about the box too much. I mentioned the box. Anyway... What is cool that you get with the attic as well, okay? And I reckon he sends these out for everybody. I reckon it's just everyone gets one. They just, you know, superimposes a name on it. Um, but you get your lovely sticker. Well, it's not a sticker, it's a card, but you do get loads of stickers as well. Yeah, you could you could, you could, could sticker anything of those. And as you know, you're going to get... I can feel them. I'm not open this, but I can feel there is at least one spell bearing in there. Um, there is this incredible cloth, and I'm not going to open because it's a work of art. And as you know from my review, um, Tom has sourced the incredible skills of the folder people who um, are experts at folding, and, and that is, I mean, that's fantastic, isn't it? You know, you could frame that. Well, I wouldn't, but somebody could. Um, and a lovely sticker as well. And the panda pouch, yeah? Um, of course, the only reservation you're going to... Hang on a second... Oh, no. I'm sure I've had two of these panda pouches because I sent one um, over to a um, guy, a wonderful guy, uh, um, uh, as, a, as a little um, prezi. It's, I believe it was conceptual design. And I think it, it had this little bit here exposed. I think that's been sorted out. Not only does that give it a little bit more, you know, resistance, but, hey, that now. I didn't notice that till then. That was lazy of me. These are good quality, okay? And, yeah, they're not going to be, you know, in the same league as something dedicated, custom, you know, leather, etc., etc. But you're going to get a lot of wear out of that. I, I, that is worth definite mention. Anyway, back to the spinner itself. <sighs> let me just, 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 just give me, let me take a second. It's this one. It's this one that just nudges the bar up fractionally. It just... Everyone's talked about the curve, the sort of the way that it, it you know, it bends in a little bit and then it bends out a bit and the weight distribution and... Um, maybe it's the polished surface, I don't know, but that just feels glossy in my hands. I... I Again, you know, you, you know, on first glance, somebody could say it's the same spinner. There's no difference, but they're not. I assure you, if you know what you're talking about and you've handled lots of spinners, you're going to know these are significantly different. And by significant, I mean, you know, there's obviously some sort of like, it's not a lot of diminishing returns, but there's obviously some sort of like, you know, overlaps because the design is similar, but there is a significant amount of difference in the way that that feels and spins. I just got my little spinning block out. Let's just see. How that goes against these. I'm just curious. Ooh, noisy. Now I gotta say, 
I'm not a massive fan of those buttons. I don't like the aesthetic very much. It just doesn't grab me. Um, and that's stupid because they're really, really comfortable and they're wonderful to use. I'm also going to say something negative as well. I prefer the look of the mini atrium. I really, really do. I don't like this. this, this. I'm not going to say contrived because it isn't contrived. I don't, because it has a reason. It's there for a reason. I just don't like the shape of it so much. I look at it and I don't go, wow, that looks cool. I go, that looks functional. And that's the point. This is the better spinner out of all three of those in, in that particular metal with these buttons. And yet it is not the one that I'm going to put in my hand and admire. That's a pity, but I'm being honest. Um, and I, 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 I do love spinning it. I really do love spinning it. It is a delight. It is a lightweight little... I'm really not even trying to spin that. I don't know about spin times. Sounds pretty silent as well. Um, the other great thing, and I think... I can't remember if it was Hobby Timmy mentioned it. Somebody did. Um, oh, it's Aaron. Um, Aaron Carl. He mentioned the fact that um, Tom is moving into bearings. And I have uh, these Jupiter ones. I've not tried yet. So thank you for sending me those, Tom. That's really appreciated. Um, I'm going to wang those in some spinners when I get a chance to do so. This, and I've never tried an eight. Hang on, not atrium, arcade. I've never tried an arcade because you know I'm not a bar person. I like bars, got bars. Probably saw the last video there's a bar in there, pressure bar. But I ain't that. Oh, let's just give this a spin. This is, uh, this is, oh, wow. Um, oh, God, I can't even remember. It's tight. It's, I think it's, is it, um, I'm just going to spin it because I'm going to look an idiot. But um, that is just so small and just gorgeous. Anyway, so, um, yeah, and, and there's not much really to say other than around the table. We've got the Enzo PK70. Um, we've got my lightsaber, just in case we get attacked at any point um, during the making of the video. Uh, and that's that, that's roughly about it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm waffling now simply because I think I've said what I need to say. If you were choosing a spinner for the first time and you didn't really know what you were doing, you, you, there, there are... Obviously, Joshua Young, yeah, over at Spinatic. Obviously, you'd go to Roger at Fidget HQ. Um, you could look at Adrian at Dam Designs as well, who very thankfully seems to be sneaking his way back in. I'd also suggest looking at Flyaway Toys. I think I did an article once where I, I wrote a thing about the five pillars of the, the four or five pillars of the community and those, those mainstays. One of those is undoubtedly, oh, yeah. Woosa, sorry, yeah, you you can't. I've got loads of the damn things down there. I've got to do a whole video on the Woosa. <laughs> yeah. How can I'm sorry, Mister Branch? I'm sorry, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, you <laughs> this is a spinner for somebody starting out. It's a spinner for somebody who has, like me, invested lots and lots and lots of their own money in lots of spinners, and can say with some conviction and indeed arrogance that they know what they're talking about and this spinner will satisfy the beginner and also the heavy enthusiast drunk collector you heard it here first as tom lannard yeah okay so there we go i hope you enjoyed this again whirlwind tour didn't even get the scales in didn't use the caliper and Got a little hands in. But other than that, that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to leave you there. Um, and again, thank you for watching. Um, hope you don't mind the idios idiosyncrasies, the uh, unscripted nature, the general waffle, and uh, utter rubbish. And I'm sure I need to, 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 to mention many things, but I haven't. Um, do check us out over on Reddit. Um, check the forum out. Um, and I um, hope everyone has a lovely day. Thank you, Spin Community, and thank you, YouTube.